Hey, what is going on guys? Hess here, CollectiveKicks.com. If you guys want to shop this week's top sneaker deals, check the link in the description and happy shopping. Also, if you guys want to see my other YouTube videos that I posted earlier this week or the previous week, check CollectiveKicks.com as well. I have kind of a hub of videos up there nowadays that you can go see uh, just in case something doesn't get pushed in your notifications. But this video got a bunch of random pickups through the week. Uh, was a pretty fun haul for myself at least and uh, figured I'd share with you guys and hope you guys enjoy if you guys do. Hit the like, like, like button and uh, much appreciated. So we have a couple things here. Adidas Employee Store Hall, which was super fun. Uh, Stone Island pickup, as well as a couple of jeans. And then a $25, I think, pair of sneakers in this box right here. So uh, where should we start? That's right. You can't uh, tell me. I wish that I did these like live unboxings or something like that instead. Sometimes, because then you guys can like dictate some of that stuff, but... Um, maybe, you know, a wave in the future. Let's start with the Stone Island piece right here. As you can see, Stone Island, and it has a uh, hoodie inside this package. And it is nothing super crazy, but I like this color. And there is the tags right there. Price point was $200 uh, after all is said and done. I got it for a little bit under retail uh, because there was a code on like Bloomingdale's or something like that. That I checked out. The main reason, and I know this is gonna sound stupid, but the main reason why I finally got one of these, one, I like the hoodie, but two, I've been on the, the hunt for a patch like this for the longest time um, because I did get another Stone Island piece a long time ago from a Nike outlet and it was missing the arm patch. A lot of people called me out on it because I didn't have the patch. I personally didn't really care, but at the end of the day, I was like, you know what, if I have one patch, I will be able to use it for this jacket. So this is a Nike jacket that I ended up getting. It is a Nike Lab uh, Stone Island collaboration, as you can see right here. Super comfortable. This is like my winter jacket. I wear this like every day, just going to work and stuff like that. It's just really, really warm, but it did not have that patch on the arm right there. So uh, that is one useful thing that you can use this for. So I can take this off of the arm and show you guys that it fits and boom so now now do you guys like this jacket like this is a dope jacket to me and you can see i wear it a lot there's a little bit of like uh baby stuff on there from when i'm holding my baby uh and uh yeah i mean it's just a, a really nice warm nike jacket one of my favorite ones that i actually have and then um there is the uh, added little flare that we need to make it cool i guess um i don't know i just i was like you know what i might as well do it because i really wanted a piece and i was waiting for a decent price on something and honestly I didn't know if it was gonna fit so I will say though that this does fit a little bit snug it is really nice heavy weight uh, but it is an extra large but it fits like a large so I don't know I should have asked T Blake about sizing because I should have got a double XL if I'm actually planning on rocking this comfortably or I'm gonna have to lose those holiday and, and pregnancy <laughs> pounds uh, that I gained back so quickly but anyways that is a Stone Island piece that I got also these were on sale I think for a little bit of money, I think they're like 70 bucks or something like that. I got another pair of G-Stars and this denim is okay. I mean, honestly, I shouldn't have bought another pair of them because I didn't really like the other one that I had too much. Um, but I definitely like the other one a thousand times better than the one that I got here. Like this color is terrible. Um, and I mean, it's repaired, but it's not like very good. Just this one in general is not my favorite. It looks like super dad denim in a sense, to me at least. And uh, I, I just am not a fan of what I ended up getting. But I did get this with the hoodie because I believe the threshold was $300. If you spent $300, you get like 25% off or something instead of 20%. So I maximized my discount by buying two things. They talked me into it. Hopefully these fit okay though and, uh, and they'll look decent. The other one that I ended up picking up though, which is from Minimal, and actually I actually really like uh, the wear on this one. It looks really as good as it does in the pictures if you like the way it looks. But I got the repaired denim as you can see here and I like the color of this one. I think it turns out pretty good and it's not bad at all. It does have an interesting little uh, line right here on the back. And it is a little bit wider actually in the leg than like the PacSun denim. So it didn't fit as tapered honestly on my legs. But, um, but I like this one still a lot and for the price point, these ones were cheaper than these ones even on sale. So there was that. Let's go ahead and do this Nike box. As you guys know, it's a Nike box because it literally just says, just do it all over the box. And I bought a couple different pairs of these. This is one of the three that I bought. Two more are on the way, but I figured why not just show you guys the one that I got. So here it is. Oh, actually there's two of them in here, even better. 
we have a couple pairs of the same shoes. Shout out to the homie John because he's actually the one that uh, notified me and let me know that these were on sale. These were only $25. And here we have them. So some Converse, Chuck, all stars, and these are all white and just the brown bottoms, but super, super clean, just white canvas upper and nothing fancy, but I loved that these were so simple and so clean because I plan on doing obviously a custom on these. Uh, I could dip dye one. Honestly, I would think that would be kind of cool because I know canvas actually would take on the dye really, really well, but I actually want to do the other dye that I've been wanting to try again. And so you guys, if you have been following the channel, I did another thing called an ice dye and you literally take, put ice over top of here and then put powdered dye on top, let it go ahead and melt. And then it leaves a crazy pattern all over the shoe. So I actually plan on doing an ice dye on these. So I just need to have time. And unfortunately that's one thing that's been tough to get uh, right now, but I plan on doing that uh, pretty soon. So you should see some ice dyes of this, uh, some hoodies and some t-shirts as well. Lots of stuff that I have planned, but uh, I ended up getting two pairs of these cause they're $25 each. So I was like, you know what, if it works, it works. And I made a cool shoe that I can like have for $25 dollars and if it doesn't work then it doesn't work so stay tuned if you guys want to see this ice die or subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell to, uh, to be notified of when the videos go live i'll try to get that done before march hits uh, because i really really have been wanting to get it done and try it but it's been so cold outside which means i have to make the ice die inside my house and the dye chemical in general is not like the best with kids around so i have to plan it accordingly when the kids are out of the house so um, yeah, that's the reason why there's been a delay on that. But the last thing right over here, super nice haul from Adidas. Pretty crazy haul actually. Got a pair of Ultra Boost, no way. This was the craziest part right here. And I also got another hoodie here. But as you can see right in the middle, uh, they had the Calabasas track pants at the Adidas employee store. Shout out to the employees, first of all, at the Adidas employee store. Man, it's like having personal shoppers. Uh, every time I turn around, there's another employee that's like, what's up, Pess? And then we walk around and we chat and they show me some of the stuff that they get in. Uh, it was really dope. And right now I have a pass for my work, so sometimes I can get passes, uh, but for the most part, it's been kind of dry for myself. Usually the employees can try to help me out, but, um, but I have a work pass right now since I work in the building and I went down there and I checked it out. But here is the gray pair and uh, the price point was only $60 on these. So, I mean, it was a no brainer for me. I definitely wanted a pair uh, for 60 bucks. And then I wanted the uh, brown pair too, so I could go. I mean, this one's gonna be perfect for uh, matching with my mobs that everybody hates. There's a tag right here, 120 on the tag, but then it's half price uh, from that. And I think this is kind of a cool come up for the week. I mean, I didn't expect them to have the track pants in and when they did, I was like, I might as well buy two pairs. They actually had four colorways. They also had a black colorway with green and then they had like an olive colorway as well. But I only wanted to get two and so these are the ones that I got. I might go back next week and scoop another one if they still have them. Uh, so those ones are the two that I got from Adidas. And then this is actually the other hoodie that I picked up, which is the same exact hoodie that I already did my ice dye on the first time. So I wanted to get the other one because this material really absorbed that ice dye really well. I didn't really love the, the results from the first time I did it because I didn't actually do it long enough. So this one I'm hoping to actually make it even better and do the ice dye on both sides so it doesn't come out like pinkish or whatever. I'm planning on doing some, some cool things with that. But shout out to Lapstone and Hammer though because they have the mud dyes that they do. I mean, it's pretty much the same sort of similar look, but their color combinations are super, super fresh. And that's like one of the hardest things is to try to figure out the right color combinations to make this. And that was my first attempt last time, but I plan on trying again and maybe I'll succeed. I apologize, my voice is gone, dudes. Like I've been sick for like a week and a half almost now. It's just, it's ha I thought it was gonna get better and then it just got worse. So I'm trying to get over this cold, but this was one of the coolest pickups that I saw in the store. And they actually have these available on adidas.com. I tweeted it out and posted on Instagram. You can get them for 126 right now. But this is a, something that I didn't know that it was on the box. So this says My Ultra Boost. And so this is the My Adidas version of the Ultra Boost. So this is actually the pair from NYC. You can see on the insole it says NYC. And then on the other one it actually shows the coordinates. For those that don't know the background on this, New York actually hosted 
the very first pair of Ultra Boosts that you can modify and design on my Adidas. It was at their New York flagship store, and then they kind of opened it up online. And so actually I was able to design my own pair online later, but when I did, this Liberty colorway wasn't available in my size. Like this one sold out in a lot of different sizes. So uh, I couldn't actually create this one. This is what I wanted to create. So fast forward years later and I have the one that I wanted anyway. So it's all mint as you can see with that 2.0 reflective upper, which is super nice. For those that want to see, this is the one that I actually designed. So I've worn this one a lot actually, but this is the New York version, as you could see, uh, same as this one. But this one I paid retail for my Adidas, which I think was like 250 back then to be able to design my own. So I did white stripes, gray cage, and then the gray um, reflective upper. You can see mine actually says MI on it for my Adidas. This one says MI on the box, but if you look at the tags, this one doesn't say my Adidas on it. So, so this one was from a release that they did later on. Um, I am not actually 100% sure if all of the coloring is exactly the same as the originals or not, because again, I didn't have option. I got the other version, but I thought it was cool. It was actually one I was like, I remember them doing a mint one, but I didn't realize that the mint one was the same exact one from the my Adidas that you could have uh, design. So I thought that was kind of cool and I ended up buying these ones for 90 bucks. A lot of people probably already knew this, but I was just one of those people that didn't really pay attention, I guess. And so this is just one of those ones that I ended up uh, buying later. There we have it. That's the pair that I bought. Two pairs of Calabasas, two pairs of Chucks, uh, Dita's hoodie, minimal jeans, G-Star jeans, and my Stone Island hoodie. So that was my week. I got a lot of fun, random stuff, some stuff to customize, some stuff to uh, wear in my sneaker videos and everything else. And that's kind of uh, the video. Thank you guys for stopping by and watching. I'm going to go get some rest, though. That's probably what I need to do right now. Hopefully, you guys haven't caught a cold or a flu or something like that all winter. If you haven't, um, leave a comment. Let me know, dude. Like, what did you do to be so dope and not actually get a cold? Because this is, like, the worst season ever. I think part of it is that I have a toddler that's going to preschool a couple days a week now. And he's just bringing home the sickness all the time. It's just terrible. That and my wife is a nurse. And she just started back work again, so she's going to the hospital, bringing home the sickness, and at the end of the day, I don't feel very good. I'm going to try to get some sleep. We'll catch you guys for some more sneaker videos very soon. Thanks for watching. Peace, guys.